You're back here on the program. Come on in. It's so lovely to have Margaret Atwood on the program. She's so smart. She's so interesting. She has so much she can do. Margaret, or known affectionately as Maggie, to those who have uh, experienced her romantic charms. So, Maggie has been given the honor of writing the prose version of uh, The Tempest, William Shakespeare's The Tempest. It'll come out 2016, which is going to coincide with the 400th anniversary of Shakespeare's death. Now, given Atwood's recent work in science fiction, I have a working title, Live Long and Prospero. <laughs> I'll wait you out. <laughs> After four and a half centuries, we're still talking Shakespeare. We're going to do that on tonight's panel. <laughs> Arthur Simeon, familiar with Shakespeare? Did you study Shakespeare? I did actually yeah. learn uh, quite a bit of Shakespeare. And I will tell you, I, I learned so many lessons from Romeo and Juliet. I learned that love will kill you. Right. Uh, from Hamlet, I, I learned that love will kill you. Um, from Macbeth, I learned that love will kill you. Basically, what I learned from Shakespeare is that yeah. if you love someone, you're going to die. Right. Yeah. Or if not you, they're going to die. Yeah. Yeah. Did you study did... it? Did, did you get it? I did not get it. I still don't get it. I was in three Shakespeare plays. I don't get it. Who did you play? I played, you know the speech, All the World's a Stage? Yeah. I did that speech for at least three weeks. Right. And I still don't know what I was saying. <laughs> and here's the funny thing. I would switch up the words. I'd make up words. Yep. And no one called me on it. <laughs> that's Mark Ford, by the no way. Thank you for joining us on the hey. panel after leaving the gym today. That's right. very nice right. of you to dress up yeah, for the yeah, occasion. Yeah. I'm not getting dressed up for Canadian television. <laughs> <laughs> didn't you, Emma, want to play Juliet? George, I didn't know if you were going to bring this up, but I did. Right? I, I did play Juliet. Although, you know, it was so long ago that I definitely don't remember um, any of the... Oh, happy dagger! This is thy sheath! There rust, and let me die! You know, and then it's a, a stab right. stab <laughs> The crowd goes wild. Did you play it that loudly? Uh, I did. Unfortunately, I was a younger actor and uh, was struggling a bit more then. So, well, speaking I'm of, here. Well, I'm happy to have you. <laughs> speaking of younger, that's part of the reason why people talk about Shakespeare. There are some who say that maybe Shakespeare doesn't connect with the youth in the same way. Is that, is that accurate? Well, I think it's, you know, it's a tough thing. It's a different generation. But I say if you could get Shakespeare down to 140 characters or less, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Mark? If you could do Macbeth naked on a wrecking ball. Right. I mean, is it rhetorical, or are you asking me to do it? I'm presenting that. I have a wrecking ball. I'm presenting that this <laughs> summer at uh, a theater in Barrie, Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me, pa let me pause this, this, this question and think about this, and, and, I, and I throw this out to anybody on the panel, but let's just say one of us uh, here happens to be from a country that isn't Western necessarily. Let's say one of us just happens to be Ugandan. Would, 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 would Shakespeare still be... As so sick of these questions. I know. Was, was, uh, was what, George? <laughs> Arthur? What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I, it resonates because mainly a, a play like Othello resonates with, Uga with Ugandan so much in terms of like, just don't trust white people. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it just, just, just. That's sort of like really been proven over the years, over hasn't it? Over the years, that's basically that's what we learned from Othello, which was great. Shakespeare helped us out in that respect. Now, if you don't have that, that obvious connection, how do you get the young people to connect to Shakespeare? Go with me on this one. Yes. Uh, change every lead character in every Shakespeare play to Batman. <laughs> that would be great. King Batman, <laughs> Batman and Juliet, <laughs> the Batman of Venice. <laughs> that would be a great one. <laughs> I think about. So here's the thing. It is no doubt that Shakespeare has lasted an awful long time. Who will be around for 450 years from today? We'll do that next. program. Come on back. So, we're talking about Shakespeare, and, you know, I know some people like to have the conversation, is Shakespeare still relevant? I reject that conversation whatsoever because, of course, Shakespeare is still relevant, so we're talking about how to get Shakespeare to connect to others. One thing that we can say is Shakespeare lasted from 400 years ago. What else came out 400 years ago that no one paid attention to? So then today, what's happening today that you think in 400 years we'll still be talking about on our 410th season of this show? 
Grumpy cat. The cat, the cat doesn't. The cat doesn't write, though. The cat might not write, but the cat has sentiments that go beyond writing. And let's get real, George. Who's going to be reading in 450? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody's going to read. Probably Judy Bloom. It's going to be a real resurgence. Of, uh... But will it still be Are You There, God? Or will it be you, Are You There, Allah? Will yeah. it be Are You There, uh, Zenu from Scientology? Yeah, be, what will it yeah. be? <laughs> Who knows, Bob? <laughs> Who knows then? But uh, his blubber will still be fat, and that's all that matters. <laughs> <That's> all that <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hear from the band, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Arthur Singh and Dan Ford Music Hall, October 17th, Accent on Toronto 12. Emma Hunter is gonna be on an E Network show called Pop Quiz in November. And Mark Forward bringing you good times to the Huddle of Little Theater in the nation's capital on November the 23rd. Good things, you glorious nation. And if I lay, may leave you with one piece of advice.